Starting safety, Julian Blackman is just a good dude. And the more you talk to him, the more you feel like, you know what? I, I got things to learn from this human being. We had a chance to talk to Julian Blackman. What's this defense need to do in Houston to run as well as it can run? How's this thing function best? Man, I feel like everybody just doing their job. I feel like because it's a new system, all of us got, you know, something new that we have to learn. So I feel like the, the main thing for us to get going is just focusing on what we got to do every play, whatever the call is, making sure that you're executing your job. And I think we should go from there. Is this a more complicated defense than the one you had last year? No, no, I wouldn't say complicated. I would just say that it's just different, different wording. So, you know, you got to kind of get used to the different wording. And um, I wouldn't really say that it's more complicated, though. Is, do you see any differences with Pep Hamilton down in Texas as, as you get, you know, you get prepared to go play the Texans? It's a different offense, even though Davis is still there, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, and I think he was actually there a little bit uh, was last he? year, like the last two games. But he, he, he wasn't the coordinator. He was definitely in there, you know, giving some insight. So I think that they're going to go with what the, the – Sills, right? Or Mills? Davis Mills? Mills yeah, the quarterback, right. right. So I think they're going to go with whatever he's comfortable with. Um, I, don't, I don't expect the game plan to change. If it does, then it does. You know, we just got to be prepared and understand what, what we're supposed to do on defense at the end of the day. Is it more like this an exciting week? You absolutely. Guys get oh, man. It's absolutely. Like, it's week go. one, man. And, you know, especially for me, I, I haven't played in a long time. So I'm just excited to get out there with my boys and ball out. Were you excited? Was it surprising to you to get well as quick as you got well? I mean, you're still, you're still what? You're 10 months? Yeah, 10. Have uh, you been no. like healthy? You were healthy in OTAs, it looked yeah. like. No, I wasn't, I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't too surprised just because coming off of the ACL, I came back in eight months. So I, I feel like, you know, with, with being blessed, being able to heal quickly and also having really good trainers around me and a good surgeon in Dr. Porter, you know, all of those play a factor in, you know why I'm healing so quickly so how much does your attitude have a, a part of it what you told us about like hitting the ground and as soon as it happened you're like okay it's another challenge yeah that is a unique attitude I well, think among people I think that just is how I was raised in terms of just being a man of God and you know, understanding that in every situation you know you, you either learn from it or you can, you know, be sad about it. At the end of the day, I'd rather just be the type of person to try to learn as best as I can and try to see the positive side of it. You know, I think that it was just lessons for me that I needed to learn and overcome. We talk in the media, we talk a lot about the culture of the team. Yeah. And how positive it is and how this locker room's just kind of different from other ones that have been covered by these guys. How does it feel to you? Does it feel unique? Man, I love it. It's definitely unique. I feel like this is definitely a team that I, I have. This is only my first team, but I feel like we're just all very close off the field. And I, I feel like that definitely makes a difference when we're on because, you know, we can just talk to each other like, hey, you know, whether it be Kenny, like, hey, go ahead and jump because I know you're going to I'm gonna be over the top. Like, just the communication that we have with each other, we're comfortable with each other. So I think that the locker room is very special here. You and Nick. Do you and Nick need to like communicate at a, a tight level, and how's that? Absolutely, going? absolutely. We have a lot of communication between the safeties, and so just making sure that we both are on the same page really helps us all make plays. So it's very important that we both are on the same page, making sure that we just have the same communication. Thanks, Julian. That's Julian Blackman. Interesting to hear about the culture of the team and how he really enjoys it. Julian Blackman, this Sunday, a key component to what the Colts are going to do against the Houston Texans. Got to get off to that 1-0 start for the first time since 2013.